Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 22nd, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to follow us here on Ethereum, where you also can copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we can continue to fall, and today we found the support at right here at the middle of the bullish band, which is a 20 moving average. Technically, good for the S&P 500 are all turning around and becoming bearish so it may well be that we'll head towards the 50 moving average around the 3861 or even towards the bottom of the bullish band at 3770 that is stretching it we will most likely find a lot of support right at the 50 before heading back towards 4000 4000 is still the target we have not uh, tested it yet and uh, that is most likely where we're heading to However, these technical indicators, they are uh, turning around very fast and it will probably take a few trading days before this turns around towards 4,000. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So then the Dow Jones continues to fall. So we were way outside here of the Bullinger Band and it was basically about time that this fell towards the middle of the Bullinger Band. So we're still far off. So the 20 uh, exponential moving average is here, 32,127. And then we have the middle of the Bullinger Band, uh, roughly uh, uh, 31,949. And then all the way down here to the uh, 50 moving average at the 31,424. So whether or not we manage to get towards the 50 moving average, that is probably stretching it. However, these technical indicators, they are uh, very bearish at this point. It's only the MACD that has not crossed the signal line. Otherwise, all the other indicators are showing uh, bearish momentum. So this is very probably likely that we'll head towards the middle of the bullish band before going towards the highs of roughly or next highs that probably will be around 30 to 33,000. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ is struggling. Um, we are we have tested the 50 moving average three times um, this week and we're unsuccessful to um, start trading uh, trending above the 50 moving average. And usually that is a very bad sign. So we got rejected three times and then we broke down really uh, heavily yesterday. And today we continued to break down and then rally and ended up just in green. I think 0.18% uh, give or take. But still we're underneath the uh, middle of the Bollinger Band, underneath the 20 exponential, um, underneath the 50 moving average. So they're acting as resistant, not support. So this may continue falling towards the lower end of the bullish band around 12,387. If we turn around here, we need to take out these uh, moving averages before going higher. But it's starting to look like that we are going to test these previous lows again. That is what it starts to look like, considering also these technical indicators, they are all turning around and becoming very bearish at this point. So it may well be we have, will test, give or take, 12,200 before going higher. Underneath here, we have the 200 moving average at 11,872. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX uh, fell towards, uh, give or take, 14,574. Technical indicators are starting to turn around for the German DAX. You see the stochastic has crossed the signal line, CCI is becoming bearish and the RSI is also becoming bearish. So it is also about time that we this uh, turned around towards the middle of the bullish band or even the 50 moving average before going higher. We are in uptrend. We just basically rallied significantly the last two weeks and we basically need a pullback before going higher. RSI is fairly high at this point so and that should be good uh, for value hunters to come in and buy it at lower levels. So let's look at the UK 100. 
And same thing here, we fell all the way down towards the 50 moving average and then bounce. We're still in the red and uh, technically they're all turning around for the UK 100. So it may well be that we will test the 50 moving average again. If that breaks, then we'll go all the way down towards the 3,511 area uh, where we are basically at the bottom of the bullish band and usually it bounces from there similar to what happened here and so on. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point so it's more likely that we'll continue seeing this fall um, in the beginning of next week uh, before it turning around. So hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us here over at Etro, where you can also copy our trace. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.